Hey guys, Scott here, and today I thought I'd do something I don't usually do, but considering really nothing has happened in DBD in seemingly months, and uh, we are still awaiting the new anniversary content, I thought it'd be interesting to at least do a little speculating myself based off of some leaks that we've heard about the new chapter. From what I've heard, the new killer is called the Singularity, and I do need to address that. You need to take leaks with a grain of salt now because there was definitely a canary trap used to catch the leaker for the previous chapters with the whole Bubba thing. And um, that person has been removed from the company. So any leaks that you would get, um, you pretty much just have to take with a grain of salt now. Whereas before they were pretty reliable. I'd say like 90% of the time they were pretty much legit. Now it's really unclear if it's going to be something they were actually getting. But just for fun, uh, let's go over whether or not the singularity... Uh, will be the killer and what they would do if they were in the game. I'm going to try to think in the guise of behavior because there's a lot of things that behavior won't do. Like they don't do like physics based powers. They don't do like there's a lot of stuff that people are theorizing for this that clearly are never going to happen. You need to, I think, dial it down a bit and take DBD's rather basic movement engine into account when thinking about powers. Now, the first thing we have to do is roll the dice to determine whether or not the killer's name has literally anything to do with what the killer is. Behavior, every time they make a killer and name it, they flip a coin, and if the coin is heads, then they name it based off of what the killer is. Like, you know, the Wraith is going to be a ghostly, invisible specter kind of killer, and if it lands on tails, it's going to be the Skull Merchant or Trickster, which just has nothing to do with anything. Uh, so I got a coin right here. We're going to flip it and determine whether or not the killer has anything to do with the actual name itself. All right, heads, it is has to do with the name. Tails, it doesn't. Okay, it's heads. So we are going... I don't know why I showed you the coin, as if you can tell. Here, there we go, it's heads. Um, so it's going to have to deal with the singularity. A singularity is... Typically, when people hear singularity, they think black hole. That is the kind of thing. Now, I'm trying to, in my head, go from black hole and translate that into behavior gameplay. <laughs> Unfortunately to me, the most realistic thing there is there's going to be some type of miniature black hole that's put down in a loop that if you get near it, it sucks you into it and relative to the loop slows you down. And that's probably, <laughs> probably just ship it like that. That's probably what they do. I would also expect, due to the nature of black holes, there would probably be some type of Demogorgon portaling system involved there for map control. Um, but the typical behavior killer design of of late is <laughs> the killer design of eld is that there is some kind of not interesting power you chuck down in a loop and survivors are sort of forced to leave the loop or interact with the mechanic which usually results in them getting hit that's why i think if we do have some type of black hole mechanic it will evolve because sucking a survivor it there's no physics involved there it's just you know it's, it's like just trigonometry at that point it's, it's just math and survivors' movement speeds can be adjusted based on proximity to a central uh, component that they put down. So it might be a bit more interesting than something like Clown Gas, which would just slow you down, or, you know, a trap, which would just simply stop you. And there could be ways that you could actually manipulate that and slingshot yourself around it. And that could be kind of cool, but that's if they were to go with that type of, uh, that type of mode there. Now, there's a part of me that thinks that they must be aware of how they just keep making the same killer over and over again with varying different colors. And perhaps it's time to try something a little different. Because basically for the past year, other than Wesker, all we've had are just killers that use their power in a loop and force you to leave the loop. With Dredge, with Knight, and with the Skull Merchant, it's just the same exact thing, just but with different skins. And... I'm hoping that they realize that that's not a winning success for entertainment in any way. It leaves survivors with only a single option, and the killers really only have a single option in, in the chase as well. And it's just boring for everybody involved. So hopefully they realize that that's, um, you know, not a good idea and try to do something a bit more interesting than that. Uh, additionally, I see a lot of people expressing disappointment that the chapter is not licensed, and I'm, I'm definitely not one of those people. I don't care if a chapter is licensed or not licensed. To me, all that matters is the actual gameplay of the killer. Like I said, I don't care if it's an untextured sphere, as long as the actual killer is fun, decent enough to not get stomped on, and it's also fun to play against. That's the only thing I care about. 
So a killer could be super fun when they're licensed like Wesker or super just not fun like, you know, Unroyo or something like that. So whether or not their license has no impact on the hype of the killer for me, I just want it to be something that is actually interesting, has fun gameplay mechanics for both sides, but still has, you know, a threat. Uh, it still, you know, imposes a threat over the opposition. So that's the winning success there. That's why Wesker, I think, is such a cool killer. And yeah, other than that, though, for the past year, we've just had basically everything that's sort of wrong with the game. At least Dredge thematically is very cool. And the whole locker teleport thing is nice as well. But his anti-loop is pretty similar to a lot of killers that they designed. And I would hope that they don't go with the drop a black hole in a loop and get sucked into a thing because that's where my brain immediately goes to. I know that seems like overwhelmingly negative, but it just seems to make the most sense for me. But I'm curious to hear what you guys think, if this leak is true, what that could mean. There are a lot of other ways to describe the term singularity. There's actually the sci-fi definition of well, which uh, as well, which is like combining um, electronic elements with organic elements and things like that. But then we get what people thought the Skull Merchant was. And then, so I, I don't know. I'm curious to hear what you guys think. Again, it's been a pretty slow news cycle in Dead by Daylight. There really is nothing to talk about, um, which is why I think videos like this are just essentially filler, pointless, but could be interesting to talk about. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. PTB should be uh, in a couple of weeks, and uh, that will finally give us some more stuff to talk about. But thanks for watching. See you next time.